look at him whip his hip into that kid. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. Over and over, he's landed a big body. And he connects with the punch. Going back to that jab, keeps throwing that. In the previous round, they were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you're fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Gets up again here, but hurt. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. He's throwing every part of himself into these big legs. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Takedown attempt will not materialize. Now a knee. What a fight so far. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. See which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide 